In this video, I'm going to show you the most effective blitz in Madden 23 and how to use it to really slow down the gun bunch offense. Now, if you're new to the channel and you want to check out my entire dollar uh, three two defensive ebook I released this yesterday, um, you can get access to it. It's a whole new variation of dollar. Uh, we have a, a, a more of a man focused version uh, that we released earlier on in the year. This one is a lot more zone based. And in fact, we're going to go ahead and put our auto alignment to base. Now, if you want to run dollar, you want to be in the 46 playbook, uh, ideally. Now, again, if you want to get my full dollar defensive ebook, it's in the Patreon for just $10. You get access to everything in the Patreon, literally everything, all ebooks, all updates to those ebooks. And we actually dropped some really key little update videos over the last couple of days in the Patreon. So like I said, I want to show you a really effective uh, little blitz here out of DB Fire. Uh, the play is DB Fire 2. And basically what we're going to do is this. All we're going to do with this is we are simply going to take our defensive tackle and we are going to drop him into a zone of our choice. You can put him in any zone that you want to. I personally really like to put him in a vertical hook to the right. And then we're going to take the linebacker on the right and we're going to actually man him up to either the slot receiver or the tight end. From there, you can kind of do whatever you want on the left side of the screen. I love this default look here. As you can see, uh, we have these backed off soft squats that are gonna play really, really well. If you want to go ahead and press, you certainly can do that. Um, you just need to be a little bit careful um, just in terms of how you make your adjustments so that you don't give any tells. But I love something like this right here. I think this is a very good coverage uh, for the current bunch meta. So what you're going to notice here is we're going to scream off of the left side pretty consistently uh, with this setup. Now, if they block a running back, if they if they block a running back, you'll notice that a lot of times this blitz will actually scream off of both sides. I will say mesh post is a little unique in terms of the fact that sometimes mesh post, in my experience, can actually kind of glitchily pick up that side. Um, but what you'll see here is you still have the other side coming uh, completely free. Now, let me show you another route combination just so you can kind of understand um, what is more common. So let's say they did something like this route combination. A lot of times this pressure is gonna come off of both sides. So you see here, um, there again, he still gets bumped like that, but a lot of times that pressure will come without that tight end flat route. Now, if you wanted to, uh, what you could actually do that's kind of interesting is you could go ahead and actually blitz your linebacker and then you're going to take that other dude and put him in the man coverage so you can put him in coverage on whoever we're going to blitz both of our linebackers here go ahead and block my running back and you'll notice this running back will kind of suck to the middle of the field and you could potentially get this in against a blocked running back now um, another thing that's really important about this defense i think is actually more dependent on hash marks um, than you might originally realize so what you'll see here, this is a kind of a standard mesh post uh, kind of route combination. But anyways, you'll see here, now if that tight end is not on the flat, this should come off of you know both edges just like that. So the beauty of this defense is its ability to uh, really just force your opponent to have to at least block their running back. What I also like about this is the coverages that Dollar can afford you to have. Um, just because you have another player in coverage, that you can, you can work with. I think uh, one of the most underrated parts of Dollar is manning up or zoning out the defensive lineman alongside of how good the blitz is um, because you can actually get two-man pressure with this. Uh, we showed this yesterday and be able to, you know, basically still get, you know, really, really good pressure against, you know, any kind of bunch set. So this is another variation um, or way to run it. Another thing you could do is you can actually walk these guys off of the edge um, which is a little bit more old school way to run this, but you'll see that these contains actually will sometimes loop around the running back and create pressure that way. So Dollar has a lot of versatility this year just in terms of the different ways in which you can run the defense. One of the newer ways is to bring this guy down and put him on a blitz and then put him in a contain. And then you'll notice here, you know, that you can potentially get some pressure, some disengaged pressure just like this. So there's so many different ways to blitz out of dollar. Um, it makes it one of the best defenses in the game. If you want to learn exactly how I like to run this defense, um, just join the Patreon. It's only 10 bucks to sign up for that. It's going to get you access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive eBooks. 
and you're also going to get um, just different variations of this blitz. We actually spent a significant amount of time uh, teaching on this blitz in the ebook and showing you how to make it more consistent against different pass protection schemes uh, that you're going to see, and also how to adjust the coverage behind it so that you're not giving up those quick seams that are popular in these cover two coverages. Another thing that I think is really interesting about Dollar is if you adjust this defense the right way, it has the best disguise out of any defense in this game. You will disguise your defense at a super high level. Um, here you'll see this is the two-man variation I was talking about where you only have to blitz two people and you're still going to potentially get some pressure. So there's so much that you can do with this defense. And if you want to learn how to run it the way that I would recommend, uh, go ahead and join the Patreon. The link is in the description below. It's only 10 bucks uh, to sign up. So thanks for watching the video. And uh, we hope to see you over at the Patreon page.